we will see today the interesting case uh, a primary gravida 22 year old came at 27 weeks for a routine ultrasound scan what we could see was bilateral hydronephrosis and hydroureter and this large cystic structure could be seen and these are the kidneys which are dilated there is in fact parenchymal thinning and the ureters also were dilated this large cystic structure as you can see here there are these umbilical arteries which are seen around it and so definitely this is a bladder so whenever we expect the hydronephrosis and distended bladder we feel that there will be an oligohydramnios but this patient had in fact a gross polyhydramnios so the ultrasound findings were bilateral hydronephrosis hydroureter grossly distended urinary bladder which was thin walled and there was polyhydramnios uh, she came 4 weeks later in fact this dilated structure which is a bladder is distended still further in fact it is 9 into 8 cm and the hydronephrosis and hydroureter is seen in this particular picture so what are the causes of hydronephrosis it can be puj obstruction where only hydronephrosis is seen where only the pc system is dilated there can be vu junction obstruction or vu reflux that is vasito ureteric reflux there can be mega ureter there can be duple kidney there can be cloacal dysgenesis which nowadays is called as urorectal septal malformations in these four conditions there will be hydronephrosis and there will be hydroureter also whereas there are conditions like pu valves then there is something called as mmihs which is megacystis microcolon intestinal hypoperistalsis syndrome and there can be urethral atresia these three conditions will cause the dilatation of pc system the ureter and bladder all three components of the urinary system will be dilated so our condition we saw that the pc system was dilated ureter was dilated and bladder was dilated so all are affected so it can be either pu valves it can be mmihs or it can be urethral atresia so how do we differentiate these you have to look at liker kidneys ureter and the bladder which are together a component of the urinary system in mmihs the liker volume initial stages may be normal but later on in the late second trimester and in third trimester it always will be increased kidneys will show hydronephrosis ureter may be normal or most of the times dilated and the bladder will be distended but it will show a normal wall thickness whereas in pu valves the liker volume initially in the second trimester may be normal but late second trimester and third trimester it will always be decreased there will be oligohydramnios the kidneys will show hydronephrosis in fact most of the times they show cystic dysplastic changes also ureters will be dilated always the bladder will be distended but it will be thick walled and in urethral atresia the liker volume in fact will be almost nil usually absent amniotic fluid the kidneys may be small hyperechoic ureter usually is not visible and bladder is distended and in fact it is thin walled so our condition fits into a megacystis microcolon intestinal hypoperistalsis syndrome most commonly seen in female fetuses in fact whenever you see a pu valves like picture but in a female and with polyhydramnios you should suspect mmihs this is a rare severe disorder it affects the muscles of the bladder and intestine what happens is there is impairment of the muscle contraction it is at the ganglion level or neuronal level disease and there is no peristalsis that's why the colon is small the intestine show no peristalsis and the ureter urethra also doesn't empty bladder doesn't contract and that's why there is functional obstruction functional obstruction of intestine functional obstruction of the bladder it is not the anatomic obstruction but a functional obstruction and at present there is no cure management is usually supportive parental nutrition can be tried initially this baby was born full term you can see that there was a usually distended abdominal cavity it was a female fetus this was delivered in a government hospital setup and the patient uh, took the baby home the baby did not survive and died at day 15 
So this is a case of MMIHS, megacystis, microcolon, intestinal hypoperistalsis syndrome. Whenever it's a female fetus and you have a PU valves kind of a picture but polyhedramnios, you should suspect this condition.